Okay, I'm going to show you the megalithic core. So everything you've seen so far is Inca construction, which comprises of 95% of Machu Picchu. And then when we go through this part, you'll see an immediate transition. You see, this is obviously not the same as that. And the pulling apart of the stone was a massive earthquake going east to west. So this is the core part of Machu Picchu that was discovered by the Inca, and then they built 95% of it around it. This is called the Temple of the Three Windows. Go together, that means it was a religious setting as opposed to okay, the Inca. When you look at this structure, this has not been reconstructed. So the upper three feet was a repair done by the Inca. And the rest of this is what's left of the original. Here. Then you come through this way when you've taken pictures. This is the principal The main So again, upper three feet, Inca repair, lower section, original megalithic. And luckily this one is still intact. Yeah. Heavy duty damage. Yeah, it's actually better to see from the front. So I had a geologist with me many times. <clears throat> and I had a geologist and we stood basically right here. And I said, this side, or she, actually I just let her talk. She said, this side has sunken down by two feet and has pulled the wall apart. She said that would be an earthquake of 9 to 9.5. So that would have, an earthquake of that scale would have destroyed the entire city. So she says this by itself is telling you that someone was here with high technology before the time of the Inca. So the Inca couldn't, in this case the Inca couldn't repair it. You can't pull this thing up. So they had to go, ah, we'll leave that one there. But the important, uh, the, the important point is to when you look at an interesting structure, find one of the guards or guides and say, has this been restored or is this the way it was? They've only restored about 10%. So when we go down, or if you've already seen the Temple of the Sun, you'll see that the two upper levels were added on by the Inca as a repair, but the rest of it like locks into itself perfectly. And then over this way, Thank <laughs> you. 
So look at the difference in the quality of the workmanship. This compared to that. And most uh, academics say that it was all built at the same time. But clearly this is, inf mu is much inferior to that. And these are actually believed to be earthquake, like at uh, Oriente Tambo, that these are like earthquake shims. So they're allowed to shift a little bit to make sure that the, you know, they can move back and forth and up and down a little. Another point is when you see some of the buildings, you see how these, these protrusions, these giant knobs, so this is an example of, of pre-Inca work because they could do it, whatever technology they had. But when you look in the background, you see the Inca building, the knob has been put into place. And this is the most phenomenal room in terms of acoustics. It, it uh, responds to ohm. And the 12-sided stone that you saw in the alley, this one is way more complicated, but nobody sh ever shows it. So if you just follow the line of where this goes, it's a three-dimensional interlocking system. I'll get out of your way so you can see it. But these things lock into each other. Ken, have a look. Inca. So I think it's 19 sides, or 19 angles, or 21 or something. So the major damage is always east to west. So when they say, well, actually it was a seed that grew into a tree that pushed it apart, it's like, only east to west? I don't think so. And this is the staircase to the hitching post, the Intihuatana. So this is the other side. Again, you see terracing. So the plants that were planted would depend upon how much sunlight they would require. So that's why they're on all facets. Yeah, that suffered the most damage. It, it also looks like there never was a fort side to it, which is weird. And it had a flat, if it had a roof, then it had a flat roof. And this is the high jungle. So these may be megalithic stairs, but they're not really that well done. And you have to walk through here, you're not allowed to really stop. So, <laughs> pretty high level of precision here. 
and then the top row was added later. As you see, the top row is inferior to the rest of it. Okay, so this is the Intiwatana, the hitching post. And it's a solar calendar. And each one of the angles points to the, the peak of a mountain. So this is this is one of the holy of holies of, of the Inca civilization. And it's not a rock, it's actually the top of the mountain itself. So this is probably Inca, it's not quite as good. But this is an Inca attempt to make something as refined mm -hmm. as that. But, you know, it's close, but you still you see gaps and stuff like that. That's a natural outcropping that that uh, calendar stone was produced from? It's the top of the mountain. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a giant quartz crystal. And then this is Huayna Picchu. And that is the end of the megalithic aspect of the tour.